Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to talk about RV antifreeze. We get a lot of questions about winterizing your camper and more specifically about RV antifreeze itself. Today we're going to go over a few of those questions. Although RV antifreeze is still not safe to drink, once you get all the RV antifreeze out of your pipes in your camper or your motorhome, um, it will be safe to drink the water that is coming out of your spigots. You cannot use automotive antifreeze in an RV because it is toxic. Most RVs are gonna require between two and three gallons of RV antifreeze in order to pump it through the whole system. Some, if you have a larger RV, may take up to five gallons. The surprising answer is yes, it is going to freeze, but it's going to be at a much lower temperature than water will be. For example, this bottle of antifreeze on the label says that it's not going to freeze until five degrees Fahrenheit, but it will also have a rating for the burst protection. So this antifreeze has a negative 50 degree rating before it will start doing any damage to your pipes in your RV. Because RV antifreeze is non-toxic, typically what people will do is they'll dump it in either the dump station or they'll dump it in the dump site at their campsite. You can get the RV antifreeze into your system one of three ways. The first way is gonna be the easiest and that is using your manual override on your RV's water pump to be able to siphon the antifreeze into your system throughout your RV. The second option is going to be to dump it into your freshwater tank. Now this method is not recommended because it's going to take so much more antifreeze to be able to pump it through the whole system. Um, and the third option is going to be to use a hand pump to pump it through the entire system. The roundabout answer is yes, you can but you don't have to. Your freshwater tank is going to have a drain on the bottom so that you can drain it from a low point and get all the water out of the tank. The tank's also going to be large enough to where if you have a little bit of residual water in the bottom of it, it's not gonna do any damage if it freezes. Well guys, hopefully this information helped. If you have more questions about how specifically to winterize your RV, we do have a video covering that. Um, if you have any other topics that you'd like us to cover, Please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.